Yo, what's up everyone, it's your host, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving deep into a topic that's both fascinating and crucial in our digital age, the reality of Instagram hacking in 2025. We've all heard the stories, seen the headlines, maybe even know someone who's gone through it. But what's the real deal with Instagram hacking? Is it as simple as Hollywood makes it seem, or is there more to the story? Today we'll uncover the truth behind Instagram hacking, common myths, and the ethical path in cybersecurity. We'll separate fact from fiction, break down the techniques used, and explore the motivations behind both the hackers and the security experts working tirelessly to protect your data. So, first things first, can Instagram even be hacked? The short answer is like any online platform, it's not impossible. But let me be clear. Instagram takes security seriously. They've got teams of brilliant engineers working around the clock, building layers upon layers of protection into the platform. We're talking firewalls, encryption, two-factor authentication, the works. They've invested heavily in making sure your data is as secure as it can be. But here's the thing, technology is only part of the equation. The weakest link, more often than not, is us, humans. Think about it, a strong password is only as strong as the person who keeps it. One click on a suspicious link, one moment of carelessness and boom, you've potentially opened the door to an unwelcome guest. Hacking Instagram isn't about brute forcing your way through lines of code like you see in the movies. It's about exploiting vulnerabilities and those vulnerabilities are often found in human behavior. So while Instagram itself is a tough nut to crack, it's not impenetrable. It all depends on the approach, the skill of the hacker, and yes, sometimes just plain old luck. But here's the good news. By understanding the methods hackers use, we can learn to protect ourselves better. We can make it significantly harder for them to succeed. Now, before we dive into the specifics, let's clear up one crucial distinction. The difference between scammers and real hackers. You see, most of what people call hacking these days are actually just phishing attempts. Clever tricks designed to steal your login credentials. Think of those fake emails that look like they're from Instagram, asking you to verify your account or reset your password. They might look convincing, but they're just traps. Click on that link, and you're basically handing over your username and password on a silver platter. It's not hacking, it's trickery. Real hackers, on the other hand, operate on a whole other level. We're talking about individuals with deep technical knowledge who understand the intricacies of software, networks, and security protocols. They look for vulnerabilities in the code, exploit loopholes in systems, and use sophisticated tools to gain unauthorized access. These are the folks who can potentially bypass security measures, but even for them, it's not a walk in the park. So remember, if you ever get that suspicious email or DM asking for your login details, don't fall for it. Report it, delete it, and move on. Don't give scammers the satisfaction of an easy win. Okay, so we've talked about the difference between scammers and hackers. Now, let's get into some of the common techniques used to compromise Instagram accounts. First up, we've got the classic phishing attacks. We already touched on this, but it's worth reiterating. Phishing relies on deception, tricking you into giving up your sensitive information willingly. It could be a fake email, a malicious link in a DM, or even a compromised website designed to mimic the Instagram login page. The goal is always the same, to steal your credentials. Next, we have shoulder surfing, which is as low-tech as it gets, but surprisingly effective. It's literally looking over someone's shoulder while they're typing in their password. It might sound ridiculous, but you'd be surprised how often it works, especially in public places like coffee shops or airports. So be mindful of your surroundings and cover your keyboard when entering sensitive information. Then there's exploiting misconfigurations. This is where things get a bit more technical. Sometimes websites and apps have security flaws or misconfigurations that hackers can exploit to gain unauthorized access. These vulnerabilities could be anything from outdated software to improperly configured servers. It's like leaving a window open in your house, an open invitation for trouble. And finally, we have bypassing two-factor authentication or 2FA. This is the holy grail for many hackers because 2FA adds an extra layer of security, making it much harder to break in even if someone steals your password. However, skilled hackers with the right tools and knowledge can sometimes find ways to bypass even the most robust 2FA systems. 
This usually involves exploiting vulnerabilities in the implementation of 2FA or using social engineering tactics to trick users into revealing their authentication codes. Now I know what you're thinking. With all this talk about hacking, it's easy to get discouraged, but here's the thing, not all hackers are bad. In fact, there's a whole community of ethical hackers out there who are using their skills for good. These are the good guys, the white hats of the cybersecurity world. They use the same techniques as malicious hackers, but instead of exploiting vulnerabilities for personal gain, they do it to find and fix those vulnerabilities before the bad guys can get to them. One way they do this is through penetration testing, also known as ethical hacking. Basically, companies hire ethical hackers to try and break into their systems, just like a real attacker would. This allows them to identify weaknesses in their defenses and patch them up before any real damage is done. It's like having a security audit for your entire digital infrastructure. Another common practice is participating in bug bounty programs. Many tech companies, including Instagram, offer rewards to security researchers who discover and report vulnerabilities in their products. These bounties can range from a few hundred dollars to tens of thousands, depending on the severity of the vulnerability. It's a win-win situation. Companies get to improve their security and ethical hackers get rewarded for their efforts. And finally, there's ethical reporting. If an ethical hacker discovers a vulnerability, they don't just exploit it for personal gain. They follow a responsible disclosure process, reporting the vulnerability to the affected company so they can fix it before it's exploited by malicious actors. Okay, let's take a moment to debunk a common myth about hacking, that it's easy and anyone can do it with a few clicks. That's just not true, especially when it comes to a platform as massive and complex as Instagram. Behind the scenes, there are teams of highly skilled security professionals working tirelessly to protect your data. These are people with years of experience, constantly researching and developing new ways to stay one step ahead of the bad guys. They're not just sitting around waiting for something to happen, they're actively monitoring for threats, analyzing data, and implementing cutting-edge security measures to keep your information safe. So the next time you see a movie or TV show where someone hacks into a system in a matter of seconds, remember that it's just Hollywood magic. Real hacking is a complex and constantly evolving field that requires significant technical expertise, dedication, and often a bit of creativity. It's not something you can learn overnight from a YouTube tutorial. Now that's not to say that Instagram is invincible. No system is perfect and there will always be vulnerabilities that can be exploited but it's important to understand the level of sophistication and resources that go into securing a platform like this. It's a constant arms race between the good guys and the bad guys, and thankfully, the good guys are winning most of the time. So where do we go from here? I think it's important to remember that cybersecurity is about more than just lines of code and technical jargon. It's about people. It's about protecting people's data their privacy, their livelihoods. And that's why it's so important to approach this field with a strong ethical compass. Whether you're interested in a career in cybersecurity or just want to be more aware of the risks online, I encourage you to focus on securing systems, not exploiting them. Learn about best practices, educate yourself on the latest threats, and be proactive in protecting your own online presence. Remember, every click, every download, every interaction online has a potential impact. Let's make sure that impact is a positive one, because at the end of the day, the true path in cybersecurity is about building a safer, more secure digital world for everyone. And that starts with each and every one of us. Black hat hackers, those who operate illegally, cause real harm. They steal data, disrupt services, and cost businesses and individuals billions of dollars every year. But by choosing the ethical path, by using our knowledge and skills for good, we can make a real difference. We can help protect people from these threats and create a more secure online environment for everyone. So let's be the generation that shifts the narrative, that changes the perception of hacking from something scary and malicious to something powerful and positive. That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Remember, the true path in cybersecurity is about securing systems and contributing ethically. It's about using our knowledge and skills to protect, not to harm. 
If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Let me know what you think about the future of cybersecurity, the role of ethical hacking, or anything else that's on your mind. Until next time, stay safe, stay secure, and keep exploring the fascinating world of technology. Peace out.